morning everybody shy town girl here i hope everyone is doing well i did not fall off the face of the earth it kind of feels like it but i think i'm finally seeing some light at the end of the tunnel for the overtime i have been able to get to the dollar trees but by the time i get off work get to the store get home it's just way too late to get anything filmed so it's about 5 15 here in the morning on saturday october 14th um, it's supposed to be 73 degrees today. I don't know what it is with this temperature. I'm not complaining. I just hope that we're not going to get all this great 70s weather for the next 15 days. We've already had it for like the past four. And then all of a sudden we're going to get hit with 50 pounds of snow. <laughs> Anyways, it is what it is. What are we going to do? I hope everyone's doing well. So here we go. I'm going to start off with some Halloween things. Um, Halloween is just right around the corner. I can't believe it already. I actually have on um, a Halloween little nightshirt thingy. Yes, I have my nightshirt on because it's 5.15 in the morning. So, okay. Potholders. Two pack. I thought those were cute. I already have some of these in my kitchen, but I actually purchased these for someone else. So you get two of those. The back side is just plain orange orange and then I found these with the witch I know her I swear I know her the back side is green again you get two. how you can't beat that you know even if you were to break them up so you figure you buy one one dish towel or even two dish towels and a pack of these you know you could split one of these up and put this with a pack of dish towels that's a cute little gift it really is for i don't know if someone brings me dish towels i'm all excited maybe i'm just weird like that um i picked up another one of these uh pumpkin necklaces that i've already shown so this is a repeat purchase i'm sending a package off to my nieces and nephews and i needed one more to complete each child so no one feels left out i then came across some more halloween transfers this basically you get three different types of transfers in here i'm going to show you the front of the package because these are what the individual transfers are in the package so this is a transfer and they're just showing you what it would look like on a glass this is a separate transfer this is another transfer and all of this up here is another transfer so here's what the transfers actually look like on the back Sorry, this one's kind of covered up by the packaging. So these are very similar to what I've been showing in some of my um, DIYs about transferring decals over to glass. And then if you decide to do any type of glitter or anything like that, by coating it on the inside. Okay, so staying with the Halloween theme, I picked up this four pack of necklaces. You get two orange and these are these are like really long I mean if I put it on me you know they come down they're long they're they're definitely long these would be for adults or kids um, so you get two orange and then you get a purple and then you get a black one and they are basically skulls and bones I'm not sure if that's coming across there but you can see the skulls and then the little bones I then found some up oh, I found another one of these um, scripto lighters with the sugar skull on there and I thought this was pretty appropriate for around Halloween time to have I always keep lighters in my purse I'm just all kinds of crap in my purse to be honest okay Werther's original caramel apple filled candies 2.65 ounce packages so these are your just regular hard Werther's candies but in the center it's got a caramel apple flavor to it so it's like eating a taffy apple and then I came across brand name gotta give a shout out to Chicago woohoo Brock's okay this is a 5.5 ounce package you get inside this package besides it being purple check it out Chicago and purple had my name all over it 
So inside this package, you get the lemon head candies, super bubble double, super bubble bubble gum, jaw busters, and now and later's. So it's a combination pack. So you get a little bit of everything in there. There you can see through on the other side. So this is this is a very good buy. Then I saw these, and there was like two or three and I, I grabbed what I saw and then I cruised around the store and didn't see any more so I'm not sure if I got the end or beginning or what but this is um Werther's again this is limited edition harvest caramels in pumpkin spice flavor I've never seen these before this is a 2.22 package where the first one was 2.65 so it feels in here like maybe 10 pieces, 12 pieces, but there's what it looks like. So I thought that was kind of cool. I'm not a big pumpkin spice person per se. Um, you know, and everything is pumpkin spice right now. I do like the flavor of pumpkin, but I think sometimes they just go a little nutso with that stuff. So I'm interested in see what those taste like. While we're on about food stuff. Hmm. Okay, I picked up a package of these garlic parmesan snack factory pretzel crisps. There are three ounces in this package. Oh god, these are so good. This is a repeat buy. I love garlic. I love parmesan. These are like pretzels, but they're super thin. They're great for using in dips, um, even heavier dips, because they're 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 not thick, but they're sturdy pretzels yum but make sure because when you got all that garlic in there watch who you be kissing <laughs> okay antacid man i've been needing a lot of this stuff lately i tell you with stress and stuff Whoo! um 60 tablets these are the regular strength it says compared to tom's could never hurt to have one of these babies around expiration date is june of 2019 so plenty of time um, I usually keep like a little medicine bottle in my purse where I keep my medications and I like to keep some of those in my purse because you just never know. I couldn't tell you how many times I've been out and someone's gone Ooh, and I wait. Just my thing. <laughs> my sister, when we were younger, my sister Lynn, she had this purse that was like a feeder bag <laughs> um if you don't know what a feeder bag is that's what they strap around horses mouths um so they can eat their oats and they're usually really big and heavy in fact my father used to tease me all the time with my purse because my purses are kind of big too and um he would pick it up and he'd be just like oh my god you know elizabetta <laughs> um and he used to call it my feeder bed but basically where i was going with that is no matter what we needed if we were out my sister lynn was with us it didn't matter a dixie cup a rubber band <laughs> she had everything there was not anything that you couldn't find in that woman's purse it was funny and crazy but it was also cool at the same time because we always knew lynn had it okay i found these these are so cute they have a little plastic hook. They're in a container that's about, I don't have my ruler here, so I'm gonna say three inches at least. You get 30, and they're emoji antibacterial wipes. Now, I'm gonna open it up here, because, yeah, it's just, re oh wow, they really have it packaged better than I thought they would. Let me see if I can get the top off. Of course not, Beth, because it's 5.30 in the morning. Anyways, here's what the top looks like. And it is, um, this is plastic, so you'd have to actually puncture this. So that's a nice security feature right there. Um, I can see the fluid in there. So the wipes are not, don't have this design on it. The only thing that has the design is the actual canister. But I did pick up two because I just thought they were kind of cool to have. This I thought was neat. Um, when I'm out walking Kalu, I can have one of these. I can clip it on some of the stuff that on her leash. That way, I've always got something to wash my hands with. I also found a couple more of these 3D accessory trays. I've purchased a couple of these already, and I love them. They are 3D. Now, this is just a sticker. It will come off. This is in that lime green. I'll kind of move it back and forth a little bit. They have like butterflies. They're really pretty. I did purchase two. 
Um, one of those is for an actual friend mail. Okay. I then purchased some crafting things that I needed. Do, 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 do. Okay. Like that song? Do, 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 do. Okay, 125 googly eyes. Look at them. You've got these huge ones. And then little itty bitty ones, and then medium sized ones. Perfect package for arts and crafts. I needed a smaller pair of scissors for like threads and ribbons and things. Just a little smaller pair that I could maneuver a little bit better. Um, these are five inches. They are made by Westcott. They are considered to be light all purpose. Never tried these before. Um, I mean, scissors, well, no, I'm not going to say scissors or just scissors because I've seen some scissors that just totally suck. And then other ones that will just, man, they'll take anything off. It's like, wow. Faux snow, 28.9 cubic inches, which is 473 milliliters. And I'm not just that smart. I read it on the bag. <laughs> Come on, people, it's 530. Little big balls of snow. These are like the next size down from the smallest. So these aren't the smallest ones. These are the next size. I went with this next size because I wanted to make it look like it's actually little snowballs. Um, this is going to be in a DIY for some of those plastic ornaments that I purchased. So if you're interested, keep your eyes open. I then found four pack afterglow multicolored ink gel pens it says three colors per pen now there's four pens in a package so when it says three colors per pen i'm thinking that i'm not sure how good this is going to show um it's not showing very well at all anyways well maybe right here so you have blue green pink and orange but then if you notice down the tube there's like purple green more purple, orange, like this one's got pink and orange. So what I'm assuming is what they mean is as you write through the pens, they will eventually, as they get to certain parts of the ink, will start to change the color of the ink. I don't know, it was kind of different looking and I, I'm, you know, a sap for pens. So I thought I'd give these a try. They're not made by Jot, um, Afterglow. By Debbie Lynn so we'll see I don't know we'll check them out if they're too crappy then you know whatever it's a dollar I'm not gonna go nuts over it okay I saw these and thought how sweet you get 40 sheets in a package these are five and three quarters by eight and a half so these are a nice size here's my hand these are good size books this one says it's it's white background and it's got these green, more like teal polka dots. And it says on the front there, be amazing. And these are soft, they're pliable. There's the back side. They are lined. Let me see if I can pop this one open for you. I just thought this was so precious. And I think because of the size and they're, they are so pliable that they're easier to write on. Um, I've got a couple of, you know, these hard book ones I found. And these are lovely, but, you know, they're hard bound. So sometimes they're hard to write in, for me anyways. So when you have these bigger ones that are more pliable, it's just easier for me. So, yes, they are lined. Nothing special about the pages, but the outside is special enough. So this one says, Be Amazing. And then I found this one here that's got teal and purple and white. It says dream big. Let me bring it in a little bit better there. Then this one here that says, this one's totally different in the background. This background explains itself. And can you see what it says right there? It says shine bright. This one I had to get too <laughs> because this one said killing it. So I did purchase two of those and there's your back. So since I already showed you a sample of these hard book ones, I found these are the five by seven. You get 60 sheets. They're lined. This one says smile. I just love the fact that having the clouds and the rainbow. 
And then there's your back. Again, these are the hardbound ones now. This one says, be mermazing with a mermaid tail on the front. Purples and teal. There's your back. This sticker does come off. These are made by Jot. Then this one here, which is the lollipop that says life is so sweet. I say lollipop, but you know what? As I look at the back now and see the back, they're probably more like cake pops. So I want to be politically correct. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up for tonight. Well, actually it's for this morning. Um, I need to get some Z's big time. I've got a big day ahead of me, a long day at work, and um, I hope to be back with you all very soon. I've actually missed everybody so much. It's it's unreal how, you know, I'm still trying to just bear with me. That's all I can say is bear with me. Work is just so crazy right now. I'll try to get back to you again as fast as I can. Any comments, please leave down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Real quickly, I have to give a shout out. I ran into a lovely, lovely woman today at one of my Dollar Trees. I actually ran into her twice. Her name is Lillian and she lives near my area. We started talking. Um, she found out I had a YouTube channel by me letting her know as we were in the makeup section. We had a lovely chat. She showed me photographs of things that her and her daughter make. Um, again, Lillian, Lily, um, it was so great to meet you. I had a blast talking with you. We probably talked for about 15 minutes and I just wanted to give you a hi and a shout out. I hope you ended up finding my channel and um, everybody have an awesome Saturday. We'll see you later on. Thanks. Bye-bye everyone.